In this lesson, we will discuss how to perform mean comparison test, such as one sample t test and uh, two sample t test. We will also learn about how to find p value for a certain distribution, uh, in this case uh, the t distribution and critical region values. To perform one sample uh, test in R, consider the example which states that a recent article in the Wall Street Journal reported that 30-year mortgage rate is now less than 6%. A sample of eight small banks in the Midwest revealed the following 30-year rate in percentage. At the 0.01 significance level, can we conclude that the 30-year mortgage rate for small bank is less than 6%. First, we will perform all calculation in a manual way and then use a built-in function for one sample t-test. The calculation that we require to perform t-test manually are mean and standard deviation of uh, the vector x, which contains uh, uh, the actual data in percentage, the number of observation, the degree of freedom, and uh, population mean for comparison purpose. And uh, finally, we will calculate the uh, one sample t-test value. We also stored all the calculations in different variables, for example, mean in x bar, standard deviation in x, number of observation in n, degree of freedom in df variable. The formula that we used is x bar minus mu divided by standard deviation over uh, n under root. And uh, this line of course uh, calculates the uh, confidence interval for one sample. Um, you can also compute this confidence interval uh, in a separate way. Uh, for example, uh, for this portion is for low limit, and uh, this portion is for upper limit of the confidence interval, and then combine using the C binder C function. For the calculation of uh, critical value from t table, we have to use QT function, which is a quantile from t distribution, and uh, we need uh, a probability value, degree of freedom and the specification of lower tail. In the similar fashion, we can calculate uh, p-values. For this purpose, we use uh, uh, percentile t function, pt function, which needs the calculated t-value and the required degree of freedom. And uh, if our alternative contains the less than word, this function will give you the p-value for the alternative less than. And uh, by Subtracting this value from one will give you the p-value for the uh, greater than option for the greater than for the greater than alternative, and uh, uh, for two tail you need to multiply the left tail probability with two. And the t uh, to perform the t-test using the built-in function we use t dot test function. Its first argument is uh, the data um, which is uh, stored in x variable, the population parameter the alternative hypothesis and uh, it uses the word less it means that uh, we are testing left tail hypothesis and uh, the last argument is the confidence level which is one minus alpha for right tail all the things will be same except the alternative which will use the word greater and for two tail we use the two dot sided uh, alternative option to perform two sample test consider the example uh, about the two groups for performing two sample t-test, consider we have two vectors x and y, okay? and uh, they suppose represent the wedges uh, in a certain week for these groups. And, uh, first, we perform uh, the manual calculation for two sample t-test. Here, we calculated uh, the number of observation for sample x, group x, number of observation in sample uh, y, in group y, x bar is uh, mean of group x, and uh, y bar is mean of group y, and uh, S, Sx is uh, standard deviation of group X and Si is standard deviation of group Y and degree of freedom are number of observation in group X and Y minus 2 and uh, we need to compute the pooled variance or pooled standard deviation and uh, we use the uh, formula Nx minus N minus 1 Nx minus 1 into Sx squared plus Ny minus 1 Sy squared all divided by degree of freedom and uh, for calculation of t, we use the um, 
x bar minus y bar minus test value which is zero in this case and uh, divided by all divided by pooled standard deviation multiplied by square root of 1 over n1 1 over nx plus 1 over ny and uh, similarly we can calculate the confidence interval for the difference of means for example x bar minus y bar minus uh, maximum allowable error uh, which is uh, qt into 0.975 certain degree of freedom multiplied by the standard error and similarly we can put with the upper limit and then combine the lower and upper limit and uh, p values uh, can be found in the similar fashion as we have done before for one sample test and uh, in the same manner we have computed the, the critical values and uh, you can use either alpha 1 minus alpha or alpha by 2 or 1 minus alpha by 2 depending on the uh, on your hypothesis and then we perform the two sample t test using the t dot test function it is the same function that we have used in one sample but here we use another argument for uh, group 2 x represent the group 1 y represent the group uh, 2 alternative is less than and here the assumption that either variances are equal or not we are assuming that the variances are equal then we set it true otherwise if variances are not equal we can test it uh, using the Levine test uh, so we have not tested it but uh, we are assuming that the variances are equal that's why I have to set it to true and uh, in the similar fashion we can uh, calculate for right tail and more bot tail. Now suppose that you instead of having a vector for each group, suppose you have a data frame. I have converted this vector to a data frame and it will look like uh, a matrix. It is actually a data frame. You can check the class of the uh, of this data object and it is now data frame. Uh, this data frame contains uh, two columns. Number one is values and number two is group and uh, both group values are shown in a single column while their index or representative group are taken in the second column and uh, the first seven values are for group A and the next eight values are for group B. To calculate t-test for such form of uh, data frame uh, we will take first column of the data frame before the tilde sign and then the grouping variable and after that we define that what data we are using here uh, we are using uh, data and the other argument are same as we have uh, used before in a similar fashion we can compute uh, the right tail test and the boss right tail test uh, let we run and see the results for the creation of critical value we uh, we will use uh, qt function and in this function you need uh, the probability values for either alpha or 1 minus alpha. You can also use alpha by 2 or 1 minus alpha by 2 which depends on the choice of your critical region. The first case is about critical values for left tail. Uh, in first case I have given the alpha value 0 0.01 and uh, set the lower tail as uh, true and uh, for the ca uh, second case of uh, the left tail critical region uh, I provided uh, the 1 minus alpha value and uh, set the lower tail as false. For right tail critical values, uh, if you choose 1 minus alpha, then you have to set lower tail as true and uh, if you choose uh, alpha, you have to set lower dot tail as false. For both tail critical values, you need to use 1 minus alpha by 2 and uh, by default, the lower dot tail will be true. If you set it to false, then you will get the uh, negative side critical value, left side critical value. Let's see it. And these results are for uh, right side and these are for left side. You will see the values are same but sign differs.